men who don't know the difference between a limousine and a Pullman sleeper. One dollar takes you through Chinatown, the mystic, mysterious regions of the Orient. See the dens of sin, the sacred joss houses, and the inner temple of the six companies, ancient secret orders of the great Tron. See Chuck Riley, the boss of Chinatown in this palace of pleasure where East meets West in raucous reverie. Extra, right here, you get your paper. Now, Joe, wait a minute. Hey, come here. Hey, Fight extra. Agent secret Be orders. Joe, Joe, what's the idea of running away that way? We're going to Chinatown. It's safer to ride with you in public. Oh, I know, but it's so silly, Joe. Uh, Ah, my fair lady. Just two seats reserved for you. Two dollars, please. Thank you. Step right in. Thank you. Two more. Oh, this is ridiculous, Joan. You know Chinatown's all a fake. Then you should feel quite at home. Oh, baloney. Now, ladies and gentlemen, bear yourself for a real treat. Chinatown the Mysterious. Now in Chinatown, on the right is the famous Port Arthur, known from coast to coast for its Chinese herbs and fancy dishes. Straight ahead, in the basement is located the den of Un Wong, the Puffy King. The Rockefeller, the mysterious Orient, you are passing through. Ah, uh, ladies, please, there is a broken victim entering the den right now. In 15 minutes, he will be buying Chicago, St. Louis, or New York. Today, it's wine, women, and song. American, very dumb. Charity. On the right and forward is the Chinese fish market, and next to it, Unwung's famous lottery. And now, ladies, a point of vital interest. We are approaching the boundary line between the districts of the two great tongs. When they are at war, no Chinaman may cross that street alive. We are now approaching the Chinese theater. We are a little late for the show. In started last Thursday. Oh, 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 Wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, don't get excited, folks. This is just another rubber Chinaman to fool the rubber necks. <laughs> Come on. Get up from there. The show's over. He's dead. Take it on the run. Get these nutheads out of here. Come on. Okay, Chuck. Come, Come on. on. Aren't you even going to make sure he's dead? Hey, Tom. Come on, Tom. Put it in. Let's drive out. Hurry up. Hurry up. Get this bus away here. You're leaving a girl behind. That's our tough luck. When Chuck Riley says go, we go. See? All right, Tom. Put it in high. But if you won't do anything for him, then I will. He's a dead monkey. How do you know? You haven't even looked at him. <laughs> I know he's dead. I know who shot him. Hello, Chuck. Hello, Kate. 
Captain. Hi, Chuck. Hi. How are you tonight? Hello there, Sergeant. Cold as a mackerel. So I see. Now, miss, tell us just what you know about this. Hey, she's just a rubbernecker. She don't know anything. Perhaps you can tell us something about it, Chuck. Yeah? <laughs> don't be silly. Oh, what's the use? Say, wrap them out and let's have a look at them, boys. Officer, will you tell me the nearest taxi stand? You better ride with the bulls. It's much safer this hour of the night around here. Come on, doors, Jeff. Now you're in on this. Come clean, or I'm going to take you back and give you the steam. Talk up now. I talk. Go on, let it out. Can't you speak? Don't you hear what I'm saying to you? Confound you, can't you hear what I'm saying to you? Can't you understand what I'm saying to you? No, speak English. Oh, get inside. Lay off, Murphy. You'll never get nowhere in the Chinaman. Ah. Wait a minute, boys. Wait a minute. Now, don't mind those dicks. Tell me what happened. Don't need the go guy and see. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Spill it in English. It's all right, go on. Well, a whole yen crossed the deadline. Wang Li shot him and beat it. All right, go ahead. There you are. Starting another Tong War, eh, Chuck? No speak English. Load him on, boys. Go on. Clear out. You can't order me around like one of your Chinamen. <laughs> Goodbye. So long, Chuck. Good night, boys. You won't find any taxis around here tonight. That was a close one, wasn't it, huh? How dare you put your hands on me, you, you gorilla? Say, listen, don't get dramatic. Go on out if you want to. But I certainly will. Where are you taking me? <laughs> well, I'm not taking you. You're following me. We 
Would you mind waiting in here a moment? Why? I know not at all. Let me out, I tell you. Let me out. Stop your whining. You'll get out of here when it's safe for you to go and not before. have started war against the Ho Yens, as you're ordered. Two of theirs and one of ours shot. Teach him not to fool with Chuck Riley. We've had enough. Let's stand. Come Let's on. Go. Frank. I'll chuck you an easy over when he pay for you. Me, I just only told you. Soon be there. these uptown women that come down here for a thrill. You're an exceptionally poor conversationalist, Wu Chung. 
It is most unkind of you to invite my opinion of your age. <laughs> you are not a telegrapher. You are a philosopher. Thank you. Come in a minute, Pete. The treaty's been broken, and I'm declaring war. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, listen. You carry out my orders just exactly as rehearsed. Now, go to it. Okay, Chuck. Hey, Put this on the bulletin board at the four corners. Tell me, who are you? No speak English. Why do you choose this life? Why is a man with your personality, a man of education, a man of apparent possibilities, satisfied to be the white boss of a yellow underworld rabble? What is it? Tell me. No split English. Won't you please open that door and let me out of here? Not yet. Not until those boys stop throwing firecrackers.
attention down there. You will form a cordon separating the towns. And don't allow no Chinaman to pass through your lines without frisking him. Take your post. Snap into it down there. Main two two oh. Hello? Hello. Chuck Riley there? Yes. Just hold a while. Chuck? You want it on his telephone? Hello? Hello, Chuck? Well, this is Williams of this. It's a city examiner. Hey, let me give you a t -t 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 tip, Chuck. You better not go near that ch -ch Chinese theater tonight. Yeah? Why? Well, b -b 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 Boston Charlie says that if you b -b butt in there, that his monkeys will b -b 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 bump you off. Is that so? Hello? 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 Main, this is a six, nine, three. Now, this is a very charming necklace. Chinese jade. It's 
it is beautiful, but what is the price of this? Three hundred. Three hundred? I beg your pardon. Surely. Hello? Hello. Is this b b b b Boston Charlie? Yes. Well, this is w w w Williams of the Examiner. Hey, let me give you a t t tip, Boston. Don't go near that t t t t Chinese theater tonight. Huh? Who said so? Well, ch 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 Chuck Riley says that if he sees you there, he's going to have his b b b b b b b monkeys bump you off. Chuck Riley? Hello. Hello. I don't care. Any claim you want. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, where are you going, Jimmy? I'm going down to the ch 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 Chinese theater. I hear there's going to be a b b b b b b big show there tonight. Huh. I'll see you later, b b b Barrel. <laughs> you know, that boy's a smart cracker. Yeah, it's too bad that this is a boy's stutters, ain't it? It sure is. Come on, let's go for these drinks. Come on. Well, go ahead. ahead. Shoot it. What do I care? Hello, how do you do uh charlie very well thank you mr riley Riley. yeah <laughs> <laughs> what a pleasant surprise mm -hmm. I hope we obtain seats near each other. Yes, I'm quite sure it can be arranged. Uh, step up and squander your money. Thank you. Not at all. Mm, go in, eh? Just go away. Mm -hmm. Give me step of those tickets. Wait Adam. a minute, you. And you. We're watching you two guys. One phony move and we'll drag the both of you. Uh, Wait a minute. Get him up. Get going. Hmm. Sorry, Chuck. You're next. Get him up. Don't get tough. Don't get tough. <laughs> You're okay. Go ahead. Thank you. Mr. Riley. Mr. Riley, may I see you a moment? Mr. Riley, we've been all over Chinatown looking for you. How are you? I wanted my friends to meet you. Miss Van Dyke? How do you do? How do you do? Mr. Root. How are you? And Mr. Tuttle. And you? I don't. What are you doing down here? Why, we thought it'd be fun Miss because... Fry thought we'd get a kick out of Chinatown. <laughs> and it's big white boy. Mm. Isn't that nice? Mm-hmm. 
Well, I wouldn't advise you to go in there. You might get more of a kick than you can stand. Well, at least that man's Frank. I'll say that for him. Now, John, let's call off this animal hunt. Yes, Joan. We met your gorilla. Come on, let's go uptown and get caught. He may on. be a gorilla, but he's more of a man than anyone I know. Oh, really? Yes. I wouldn't dare be caged up with either of you for a night. Come on. Come on, let's go. No, I don't want to go. She wants to chase after that man letter, Come not on. me. Come on. Come on. We'd better go with her, or she'll go native. Won't you take my seat? No, no, but please. But you will be doing me a great favor. Thank you. Not at all. John, you sit here. I will take that one. But I prefer this one. And it's just across the way. Well, if you see.
I knew your Hoyans were rotten shots. Better luck next time. Yeah? You wouldn't have had the nerve to plug me if these rubbernecks hadn't gotten in the way of my monkeys. You are quite right, Chuck. That's the penalty of sex appeal. Eh? <laughs> but the next time you... There'll be no next time, Charlie. I'll pick you in my own way when you get right. Yeah? I am still quite green. Mr. Riley, I'm sorry, I really... Well, I thought I told you and your perfume babies not to come in here. Hey, 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 hey! What are you? City examiner, anybody been shot yet? Good sheep. Now I'll take you out. Come on. But I didn't know I... There's no time for an apology. Let's get out of here. Now that you've seen me home, will you please go? Yes. You and those dumb friends of yours down here looking us over like animals in a zoo. That's not fair. No. Just a couple of bored uptown women and their cake eaters. It would faint if anybody slapped them in the jaw. All right, try it. Tell those two big he-men of yours about that, will you?
Does it feel a little better now? Chuck. just thinking. Head up town, body Barbary Coast. Which are you? Up town. You're going back up there? <laughs> Just came down here for a thrill. Uh, That's not true. I'm here because you're the only real man I've ever known. Um, for once in my life, I wanted to be a, a real woman. Don't you understand? I'm too used to the other to stay here. This has been perfect, but we'd only spoil it by prolonging it. If a real woman loves a man, she doesn't come to him one minute and leave him the next. Now, Chuck, what do you want me to do? Marry you and make an honest man of you? Don't you... Don't you realize that our lives are so different? It would never work. Goodbye. All right. Go on and get out. You've had your fun, you hit and run thrill hunter, you. But 
Put this among your souvenirs. I think you're yellow. And you're a quitter. Going my way? <laughs> sure she is. She came your way and she's going your way. You're both alike. I've changed my mind, Chuck. I'm going your way. Please don't go, Chuck. They'll kill you before you ever get to the cemetery. What? Miss one of my tong funerals? Why, you're crazy. Then, then let me go with you. I can't stand being left alone. Afraid. Say, listen. You belong to Chinatown now. No decent woman ever goes out of here except on feast days. No. No decent woman. Now, let's not start that again. Oh, Chuck, why will you persist in thinking that I came to you just for an adventure? Don't you realize now that I belong to you? Utterly and forever. I've burned all my bridges behind me. And now, now I'm afraid. They'll get you, just like they got him. Why don't you stop this stupid war? Now, don't be impatient, Joan. In another month, it will all be over. And Chuck Riley will be the king of all the Chinatowns in America. In another month, Chuck Riley will be dead. Why doesn't the government do something? <laughs> what can they do? Deport all Tong members? Yes. Yes, why don't they? <laughs> I'll tell you why they don't. It's because they think all Tong members have immigration papers. <laughs> Gentlemen, how are you? Is this for me? In loving memory of our comrade Sun Yip from the Chinese Benevolent and Protective Society. Isn't that sweet? Isn't that nice? Thank you. Oh, how thoughtful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Casey, no go out. Good night, boys. Okay, on, Chuck. Dad. Following me around and get out of here? Go on and get out of here. Go on. Come here. Open the door and let those gentlemen in. <laughs> well. This is indeed a rare pleasure. Come right in and make yourself right at home. Ha <laughs> ha! The dove of peace. <coughs> Irish wit, eh? <laughs> Step right up, gentlemen. Now, Mr. Riley, your attention for a moment. We, the merchants from this city, Endorsed by our government officials, are here tonight to demand an end of this tongue warfare. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You're helpless to stop me, all of you, and you know it. And as for you, Boston Charlie, my Irish wit tells me that you're ripe for picking. Overripe. I'm a very busy man, if you please. But, Mr. Riley, you must listen to me. Wait! Wait, you must wait. You can stop this war. He told me how. Shut up, you! Shut up, you! You off the tongue, man! Now then, have that baby! Oh, keep your mouth shut! That's that! Shut up, I'm not talking about it. Oh, so that's it. You'll make peace right now. Or we'll deport every one of your men without papers. I thank you.
Mr. Riley, will you sign on the dotted line, please? I'll give you my thanks later. Torn up your last chance, Riley. <laughs> Isn't that too bad? You go out the same way that you came in. Now. But you do not understand the... Don't answer. give me any argument. Get out of here. All of you, come on. A brave gesture, Chuck. What a ladies' man. Eh? I tried to save you in spite of yourself. Because I love you. No, Chuck, you can't. And don't come back for this. This has been perfect, but we'd only spoil it by prolonging it. It isn't that I wanted so long for my own sake. I stayed here hoping that I could get you away from all this in time. To make you the man you could be, or die. To make you go my way. I gave up my whole life for you gladly. I'm not sorry. But you can't. You can't end it like this. Chuck! You must listen. Chuck! You ain't a gonna get any more to drink. You had enough. Liquor ain't a gonna help you with what you got. And it ain't a gonna bring your sweetie back. No. 
Now listen, kid. You ain't no bum. I got you pegged for one of those Janes from uptown. And when your swell friends come down here looking for you, I ain't gonna take no rap in the pan for you either. Do you understand that? No, and they ain't gonna find you in Delaney's bar. Go away. Go away, sister. Go away. Hey, ain't you got any home? Certainly I have a home. Well, why don't you go to it then? Go on. Pull yourself together, kid. You've got to sober up. Don't you worry. Because I'll take you to my house. Gee, I got a swell joint. Nobody will hurt you when you're with me. Well, I'm bigger and stronger than I look. And I'll take good care of you. You know, you just have to buck up for a little while, and then you'll be all right. If you get sick, I can go right down there and get a doctor for you. Don't you worry. You'll be all right. We haven't got far to go now. We're almost there. Just a few more steps. You'll be all right in a couple of days, and Chuck will want to take you back. Believe me. Here we are. Watch the steps now. One, whoop, don't fall. Two, three. Attaboy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Wait a minute, wait a minute now. There's nothing to get worried about. I've got everything fixed. <laughs> Come here. Now, what's the matter with you? Hold on, men. I'm running away. Oh, now, don't be silly. Those are Boston Charlie's men. 
All of our men have papers. <laughs> papers? Here's lots of papers. Chinese names and faces are very deceiving. These guys have been dead for years. Savvy? <laughs> All right. Now listen, both of you get on the chop. Quick, get off. I told you it'd be okay. I don't know. What do you want? Take the girl back. Won't you, Chuck? She's sick, and she needs you. She ain't done nothing to you. And she's crazy about you, Chuck. Honest, she is. She talks about you all the time. In her sleep, too. And you know that dump of mine. Gee, it ain't no place for a lady like her. And I tell you, she ain't gonna last much longer. They'll be coming to take her away, Chuck. Oh, why won't you give the dame another chance? She loves you, Chuck. Get out of here! Gee, you're gonna be sorry for this, Chuck. Just you wait and see. Hey, come back here. Hey, kid. Hey, kid, come back here. I didn't mean it. Come on back here. Don't run away. Come on back here. Stop that kid. Get that kid. Bring him up here. Bring him up to me. All right, I'll bring him up, Chuck. Be on the alley. Bring him up. See if you can find that on the other side. All right, that's a shame. Let's take him up. the street. Peter, Chuck, the cops are coming. Get me the nearest hospital, please. Quick. Sorry, sir, I'm not sure. Wait a minute. Can't see. Just go check the doctor. Can't see. Can't see. Can't see. Can't see. Can't see. Can't see. 要快啲得噶，嗰陣唔怕拉嘅，一於唔怕嘅，佢啲。Run over? No. Somebody threw her out of a car. Does he belong here? Yeah. She used to hang out here. Now put her over there, boys.
bunch of bums. This joint's closing down for good. And Chuck Riley's closing down with it. Why, the guy's gone nuts. Gone nuts, have I? No. Just getting sane. I'm wise to myself at last, and I'm through with Chinatown forever. Go on. Go on. Don't talk back to me. Go on. Go on out of here. All of you. Never mind the check. Go on. If she means anything to you, I take her out of all of this for good. Going your way. Chuck. You are now on the street of size. On your right is the pleasure palace of Boston Charlie Wu, where East meets West in raucous reverie. In that very house, the famous white boss Chuck Riley lived and loved the woman for whom he abandoned all his empire. Look, ladies and gentlemen. There you see Boston Charlie himself, the shrewdest, cruelest emperor of Chinatown since the one and only Chuck Riley. Baloney. All of Chinatown's a fake. I don't believe there ever was any such guy as Chuck Riley. 